Machine Overview Principal Parts of the Machine Before you start your first project, it's a good idea to take a look to know your machine. Let's take a look at the principal functions of the machine with a quick review. Top Cover Presser Foot Pressure Screw Upper Thread Guide Bobbin Thread Guide Spool Pin Tension Dial Bobbin Winder Spindle Bobbin Winder Stopper Speed Limiting Adjustment Dial LCD Selection Buttons Function Buttons Operation Buttons Sewing Table and Accessory Box Auto Needle Threader Buttonhole Lever Presser Foot Feed Dog Needle Plate Cover Hand Wheel Power Cord Connector Embroidery Unit Connector Main Power Switch Foot Controller Connector Presser Foot Lifter Drop Feed Lever Buttons of the Machine Caution! The icon on the button is for sewing model and the icon on the side of the button is for embroidery model. If you want to get more detailed information, please refer to the user's manual. Start Stop Button Press this button to start the machine, again to stop it. Reverse Button The icon on the LCD indicates reverse sewing. Hold down this button to sew either backwards or a reinforcement stitch at a low speed. Auto Lock Button Press this button, the auto lock icon will appear. The machine will immediately sew locking stitches. Press this button, the auto stop icon will appear. The machine will sew locking stitches at the end of the current pattern and automatically stop. Needle Up Down Position Button Press the button so the icon on the LCD points downwards. The needle moves to the lowest position. Press the button so the icon on the LCD points upward. The needle moves to the highest position. Speed Limiting Adjustment Dial Turn the dial clockwise to make the sewing speed faster. Turn the dial counterclockwise to make the sewing speed slower. Mirror Button Press this button to mirror the selected pattern. The mirror icon will appear. You can sew a reflection pattern. Elongation Button Press this button to lengthen the pattern between 1 to 5 times its original size and display the different icon on the LCD. Changing the width and length will create a variety of patterns. Twin Needle Button Press this button and the machine automatically reduces the width for twin needle sewing. Two lines of stitching are sewn parallel to each other. Stitch Length Adjustment Button Press the button right to make the stitch longer. Press the button left to make the stitch shorter. Stitch Width Adjustment Button Press the button right to make the stitch wider. Press the button left to make the stitch narrower. Memory Button Press this button to enter or store the pattern combinations you have created in the memory. Clear Return Button 
If an incorrect pattern or memory module is selected, press this button to clear it or return to the previous screen. Pattern Group Selection button. Press this button to access the Pattern Group Selection screen. Arrow buttons. Use the buttons to select the desired pattern, function, etc. OK button. Press this button to confirm your selection. Direct Pattern Selection and Number Buttons Access a pattern instantly by pressing Direct Pattern or access a pattern by pressing the number of the pattern to select the desired pattern. Sewing Basic Connecting the Power Supply Make sure the machine power is off when connecting the power. Plug in the power cord and connect the power plug to the electric outlet. Turn on the power switch. The lamp and LCD will light up. Replacing the needle. Press the needle up-down button to raise the needle. Turn off the power switch. Loosen the clamp screw and remove the needle. Position the needle with the flat side of the shaft facing towards the back. Insert it as far up as it will go, then tighten the screw. Changing the presser foot. Press the needle up-down button to raise the needle. Turn off the power switch. Raise the presser foot. Press the presser foot holder release lever. The presser foot will drop off. Position the presser foot under the holder correctly. Lower the presser foot lifter and the foot snaps onto the holder. Free Arm Sewing Remove the sewing table from the left. Fillet to make use of the free arm. Free arm sewing is convenient for sewing tubular parts, such as pant hems and cuffs. Winding the bobbin Place the thread onto the spool pin. For large spools of thread, use the large spool holder. For smaller spools of thread, use the small spool holder. Draw the thread into the upper thread guide. Wind the thread clockwise around the bobbin thread guide. Pass the thread through the hole in the bobbin. Place the bobbin onto the bobbin winder spindle. Push the bobbin to the right. Hold the thread tail securely. Press the Start-Stop button to start winding. Stop to trim the thread tail and then continue to fill the bobbin. It will stop automatically when the bobbin is full. Cut the thread. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the left and remove the bobbin. Raise the presser foot. Remove the needle plate cover. Make sure the thread is running in a counterclockwise direction. Insert the bobbin into the bobbin case. Pass the thread through the furrow as shown by the arrow. Cut off the excess thread. Attach the needle plate cover. Threading the machine. Press the needle up-down button to raise the needle. Turn off the power switch. Raise the presser foot. Place the thread onto the spool pin. For large spools of thread, use the large spool holder. For smaller spools of thread, use the small spool holder. Draw the thread into the upper thread guide. Go down along the right slot and around the bottom of the guide plate. Draw the thread up along the left slot. Pass the thread through the slotted eye of the take-up lever, then downwards again. Draw the thread through the lower thread guide and the needle bar thread guide. Lower the presser foot. Lower the needle threader lever and push it forward. Pull the thread around the thread guide. Take the thread in front of the needle. Push the lever backward and release it. Pull the thread through the needle eye. 
sewing function, selecting stitch patterns. Totally, 404 patterns include the utility stitches, buttonhole stitches, satin stitches, quilt stitches, etc., and two styles of alphabet letters. When you turn on the machine, the LCD screen is set in direct pattern mode, straight stitch, and the following information will show on the screen. Pattern number and pattern, auto lock, suggested presser foot, tension, stitch length, stitch width, pattern group mode, needle position, sound on and off. Press the Pattern Group Selection button to enter the Pattern Group Selection screen. The following five category icons will appear. Direct Pattern Mode A Group Pattern Mode B Group Pattern Mode Block Style Alphabet Mode Script Style Alphabet Mode Overcasting Select the direct pattern number 8. Change to the overcasting foot E. Place the fabric under the foot. The edge of the fabric must be in line with the foot guide area. Lower the presser foot. Sew the fabric with the fabric edge against the guide of the overcasting foot. Blind hem. Select the direct pattern number 9. Change to the blind hem foot F. Place the fabric wrong side up. Fold the fabric as shown. To form a hem leaving a 5 mm edge, place the fabric under the foot. Lower the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel forwards. When the needle swings to the left, it should pierce the fold of the fabric. If it does not, adjust the stitch width. Adjust the guide by turning the knob so that the guide just rests against the fold. Sew slowly, guiding the fabric carefully along the edge of the guide. Button Sewing Select the A Group Pattern 24 for button sewing. Slide the drop feed lever to lower the feed dogs. Change to the button sewing foot H. Place the button in the desired position. Lower the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel to make sure the needle goes cleanly into the left and right holes of the button. If it does not, adjust the stitch width. The machine sews reinforcement stitches and stops automatically. After sewing, slide the drop feed lever to raise the feed dogs. Making a buttonhole. Select the direct pattern number 0. Change to the buttonhole foot D. Mark the position of the buttonholes on the fabric. The thread should pass through the hole in the presser foot. Pull out the button holder plate and insert the button. Push it tightly against the button. Position the fabric under the presser foot. The buttonhole mark should align with the center line on the buttonhole foot. Lower the needle at the starting point. Push the front side of the presser foot. Then lower the presser foot. Lower the buttonhole lever to position it behind the bracket on the buttonhole foot. Push the start-stop button to sew the buttonhole. After sewing, raise the buttonhole lever. Insert a pin as a stopper at the bar tack. Use a seam ripper to cut the center of the buttonhole carefully. Satin Stitch Sewing Use the satin stitch foot for satin and sewing decorative stitches. 
The fully indented underside allows for easy sewing over the thick stitches and makes feeding of the fabric even more convenient. Zipper Select the middle position straight stitch, direct pattern 1. Attach the presser foot holder to the left of the pen. Put the two pieces of fabric together with the right sides facing each other. Place the zipper on the fabric. Mark the end of the zipper position on the fabric. Baste the fabric together. Reverse stitch within 0.5 centimeters of the end of the zipper. Press the seam allowance open with an iron. Place the zipper in the center of the seam with the reverse side upward. Pin the zipper in place. Baste the zipper tape. Remove the pins. Turn the fabric over to the right side. Use a seam ripper to cut the basting stitches. Unzip the zipper. Sew a straight stitch down the right side of the zipper and stop for a moment. Zip the zipper. Continue sewing to the bottom of the zipper and stop at an appropriate distance from the end. Press the needle up and down button to lower the needle. Raise the presser foot. Turn the fabric by 90 degrees. Lower the foot. Sew across the other side of the bottom of the zipper and stop at an appropriate distance from the end of the zipper. Raise the foot. Turn the fabric by 90 degrees. Lower the foot. Start sewing the other side and stop for a moment. Unzip the zipper. Continue sewing and reverse stitch at the top of the zipper. Twin needle. Install the twin needle. Thread the horizontal spool pin into the left needle eye. Then insert the second spool pin, spool pin felt, and thread. Pass thread through the right needle eye. Select the desired pattern. Press the twin needle button. The machine will automatically reduce the maximum width for twin needle sewing and the LCD screen will display the twin needle icon. Sewing result will be a pattern with two parallel stitch lines. Combining Patterns or Alphabets Press the Memory button to enter the memory mode. There are four program modules and each module can retain 20 patterns. Use the right and left arrow buttons to select the memory module. Now press the pattern you like. Direct patterns and A group patterns numbers 13 to 26 cannot be entered into the memory. All the units in the memory can be edited to reset features such as stitch length, stitch width, elongation, mirror, and auto lock. After editing, Press the Memory button to leave the Memory Mode and return to the Normal Mode. If you want to sew a pattern in the memory, press the Memory button to enter the Memory Mode. Select the Memory Module and press the OK button to enter. To begin sewing, press the Start-Stop button. Embroidery Attaching the Embroidery Foot Press the needle up-down button to raise the needle. Turn off the power switch. Raise the presser foot. Loosen the screw and remove the presser foot holder. Attach the embroidery foot 
onto the presser foot bar. Tighten the thumb screw securely. Attaching the embroidery unit. Turn off the power switch. Remove the sewing table from the left. Get the embroidery unit ready. Caution, do not lift up on the embroidery carriage and do not forcefully move it. That may cause it to malfunction. Slide the embroidery unit into the machine arm until it clicks and stops. Insert the plug into the embroidery unit connector on the machine. Hooping the fabric. Loosen the embroidery hoop adjustment screw on the outer hoop. Separate the inner and outer hoops by removing the inner hoop pulling forward. Place the fabric right side up. Place the fabric with the stabilizer material on top of the outer hoop. Press the inner hoop down on the fabric. Push down firmly until the inner hoop is securely pressing against the outer hoop. Tighten the adjustment screw to secure the fabric. Remove any slack in the fabric by hand. After stretching the fabric, make sure that the fabric is stretched drum tight in the hoop. Attaching the embroidery hoop. Raise the presser foot. Place the embroidery hoop under the presser foot. Insert the embroidery hoop into the embroidery hoop holder until it clicks. Selecting the embroidery pattern. Getting started. Turn on the power switch. The welcome message will be displayed. Then a warning message will appear to remind you to remove the embroidery hoop. Press the OK button to confirm. Press the needle up and down button to raise the needle. Raise the presser foot. The embroidery carriage will move back to the initial position. Then enter the embroidery mode. The following three categories are available in the embroidery mode. Built-in embroidery pattern. Built-in embroidery letters. Designs from USB. Built-in embroidery pattern. Access the built-in embroidery pattern and choose the first icon and press the OK button. There are a total of 40 embroidery patterns. There will be three patterns on the screen and use the left and right arrow buttons to select one. To move forward or back by three patterns, press the up-down arrow buttons. Or just press the number button to select a pattern directly, for example, number 26. Press the OK button to enter the editing screen, and the following information will appear on the screen. Embroidery field. Available embroidery hoops. Multicolor. Embroidery size. Embroidery distance from the center. Degrees. Percentage. Press this button to check the size of the embroidery area. The carriage traces the outline of the selected embroidery pattern without stitching. Then return to the starting position. Press the OK button to prepare embroidery. Then a warning message will appear to remind you to check the embroidery hoop size. Press the OK button to confirm and access the embroidery screen. The following information will appear on the screen. Available embroidery hoops. Current stitch counts and total stitch counter of the pattern. Current color step and number of colors in the pattern. Embroidery pattern number and pattern. Current color part. Next color part. Press this button to go forward or back to the current stitch counts. Press this button to go forward or back to the color part. If you want to cancel, 
Press this button. A warning message will appear. Press the OK button to go back to the pattern selection screen. Press the C button to go back to the embroidery screen. Now that's a star embroidering. Lower the presser foot. Hold the thread lightly. Press the Stop Start button to start embroidering. After sewing five to six stitches, press the Start Stop button to stop the machine. Raise the presser foot. Cut the thread at the beginning of the stitching. Lower the presser foot. Press the Start Stop button to start sewing again. When the first color is completed, the machine will stop. The Raise Presser Foot message will be displayed. After raising the foot, the Change the Thread message will be displayed. Rethread with the next color and press the OK button to confirm. Then continue embroidering. When the embroidery is completed, the machine will stop automatically. The Embroidery is Finished message will be displayed. Press the OK button to return to the Pattern Selection screen. Built-in Embroidery Letters Select the second icon and press the OK button. Press the arrow buttons for letter selection. Press the OK button for Enter. Press the C button to delete. Move the cursor to the icon at the lower right corner. Press the OK button to switch between uppercase, lowercase, special characters, numbers, and symbols. Let's enter some letters. After editing, Move the cursor to the icon at the upper front side. Press the OK button to enter the editing screen and the following information will appear on the screen. Embroidery field. Available embroidery hoops. Single color. Embroidery size. Embroidery distance from the center. Degrees. And percentage. Press this button to check the size of the embroidery area. The carriage traces the outline of the selected embroidery letters without stitching. Then return to the starting position. Press the OK button to prepare embroidery. Then a warning message will be displayed, reminding you to check the embroidery hoop size. Press the OK button to confirm and enter the embroidery screen. The following information will appear on the screen. Available embroidery hoops, current stitch count and total stitch count of the pattern, current color step and number of colors in the pattern, embroidery pattern, current color part. If you want to cancel, press this button. A warning message will appear. Press the OK button to go back to the pattern selection screen. Press the C button to go back to the embroidery screen. Now that's a star embroidering. Hold the thread lightly. Press the Start Stop button to start embroidering. After sewing five to six stitches, press the Start Stop button to stop the machine. Raise the presser foot. Cut the thread at the beginning of the stitching. Lower the presser foot. Press the Start Stop button to continue embroidering. When the embroidery is completed, the machine will stop automatically. The Embroidery is Finished message will appear. Press the OK button to return to the Pattern Selection screen. Designs from USB Insert the USB into the USB port on the left side of the embroidery unit. Select this icon and press the OK button. Then you can upload your embroidery designs.
Editing the embroidery pattern. Basic setting. Select an embroidery pattern you want to edit. You can move the embroidery pattern position by pressing the arrow buttons. The pattern will move 5 millimeters each time you press the button. Press this button to horizontally mirror the embroidery design. Press this button to resize the embroidery pattern. When you press it, the resize window will open. Press the arrow buttons to change the size. The size will change 5% each time you press the button. Press the OK button and the new size will appear on the editing screen. Press this button to rotate the embroidery pattern. It will rotate 90 degrees clockwise each time you press the button. Press this button to set single or multicolor for the embroidery pattern. Single color, multicolors, advanced settings. Press the setting button to access the setting program. There are five functions in the program. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select the function. Inch, millimeter options. You can set your machine's measuring unit to either inches or millimeters with the arrow buttons. Embroidery maximum speed. The maximum sewing speed can be set from 350 to 600 stitches per minute for embroidery sewing with the arrow buttons. Software version information. Buzzer sound. It can be set on or off with the arrow buttons. Embroidery carriage return. Press the OK button and the carriage will move to the home position. Press the setting button again to leave. Removing the embroidery unit. Raise the presser foot. Press the snap downward on the embroidery carriage. Pull the hoop back smoothly and carefully. Press the setting button to access the setting program. Select the embroidery carriage return function. Press the OK button and the carriage will move to the home position. Press the setting button again to leave. Turn off the power switch and remove the embroidery unit connecting plug. Hold the snap down on the lower left side. Pull it out from the left side smoothly and carefully. After working, slide the drop feed lever to raise the feed dogs. Care and Maintenance Cleaning the LCD and machine surface. Turn off the power switch. If the front panel is dirty, wipe it gently with a soft, dry cloth. Do not use any organic solvents or detergents. If the main surface is dirty, lightly soak a cloth in a mild detergent. Squeeze the liquid out well and then wipe the surface. Cleaning the hook. Turn off the power switch. Remove the needle. Raise the presser foot. Remove the presser foot and presser foot holder. Remove the needle plate cover. Remove the bobbin. Loosen the screws and remove the needle plate. Lift up the bobbin case and remove it. Clean the feed dog and hook race with a brush. Clean the bobbin case with a brush. Clean the hook race with a soft, dry cloth. Place the bobbin case into the hook race so that the tip fits into the stopper. Replace the needle plate and tighten the screws. Replace the bobbin and needle plate cover. Make sure the needle and presser foot are attached. 